recording. Oh, hi, Aaron. Hi, Shauna. I really appreciate oh, you coming. Hug. Oh, hug. You just want me to rub my boobs again. No, I just wanted to put my dry come skin in. on. Like, come Aaron, hand this is boys out there. This is the number one worst thing you can do is have a little cummy hand. It's, like, it's really grossing me out, dude. You have like... Here, look. It's, like it's really gross. Stop. Particles. Please, stop. Please. Please. Okay. I can't sit here like this. Should Dr. we tell everybody who you are? Do you think they know who you are? <laughs> I don't know. I've, if not, um, my name's Jim. I'm the new cast member. Do this Aaron. whole jackass thing. No. So well, Aaron here. let's get to the sex, right? All right, let's I get to the sex talk. We've talked, I mean, Steve-O and Chris and I talk about sex probably a little more than you and I have, but I think we've talked about relationships. Yeah, and, relationships right? more than and sex. Be, yeah. Because it would gross me out about you and bed, but today I'm going to get to learn about you a little bit. Really? Would it, would it be honest, Sean? Let me ask you the first question. Would it gross you out to think about me having sex? You know, come what? on, look at me. See. I think what I know for sure would gross me out is after I saw you in the Depends yesterday, and your body was like white and pasty. I'm pasty and white. Pasty white and sex kind of grosses me out. Oh, because you don't like pasty white. No. <laughs> what do you like? Um, I like not pasty white. Thanks. Anyway. Okay, well, I know the answer to this, but a lot of people were wondering about your sexuality. Are you gay or straight? Well, I think uh, that that question comes about not only because I wear pink Speedos, which I think is funny, but also because uh, recently on jackassworld.com, somebody was on my profile page saying that I was gay and all that stuff, which I'm not gay. Although, you know, if I was gay, I'd be openly gay about it because I think gay's cool. I think if you're gay, like you're Katie, happy. Katie asks, have you ever gotten super drunk and accidentally slept with dating one? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's not that's gay, like though. Gay. No. <laughs> Dude, okay. if you're bros, you know, like, it's, it's just, just a difference between, like, if it's somebody you don't know, like a one-night stand or just some random dude, uh -huh. that's, a, you know, that's, that's <laughs> gay. All right, so Deborah wants to know, has a girl Sorry. ever asked you to do something that totally made you feel sick? <sighs> Sexually, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I, I really, no, nothing, no, no girls ever. Like, there's been some strange things that have happened. Normal size. But uh, no, I, I mean, definitely, like you know, I don't like nor necessarily normal sex. I like getting crazy and totally funky. Creep me out. But uh, <laughs> I don't think there's pretty much anything I won't do. Okay. I mean, um, besides, like, I don't really like pooping in the mouth and stuff. I mean, that sucks, right? Yeah. Have funny. you ever done it? No. Shauna, you've never had anybody poop in your mouth? I'm a prude, Aaron. I oh. don't do all that gross stuff. Anyways. Um, well, Deborah had another question that reminds me of like my favorite scene in American Pie when they when he fucks the apple pie. Okay. Okay, and so she wants to know if you ever placed your penis in a cantaloupe melon, see what it's like, and if not, my question is, have you ever? No. Like, do you guys do that? I one time uh, out in the up at Mount Hood in the snow, I, I had sex with snow. You didn't? I just made a little hole and... and did it, it. did it freeze your... I didn't... I, I, it did. It hurt at first, and then it kind of got numb, and it was sharp, you know, crystally, and, and the hole got bigger and bigger, so I had to move from hole to hole, and <laughs> next thing you know, it was like, it was like you know, Swiss cheese everywhere in the Wait. snow. But it was it was a, a weird experience, but Were I had to do it. Were you horny, or was it just funny? Or? I was... I was... Uh, I think I was uh, a little bit of horny and just bored and experimental, you that know? That is so weird. Katie's wondering what you think. Um, what would you prefer, a really good blowjob or sex? Well, we uh, kind of talked about. Okay, this one yeah, I bit, right? I gotta go ahead and say, like, I would like to have a really good blowjob, then sex, and then after that, masturbate, <laughs> because that's the trifecta. It's just, it's awesome. So, but so if a girl, I'm you a have fiend. A choice I'm a with a girl, which would you do? If I can like only I'm choose, a, I'm a girl. If I can I'm only choose day, one, what, should, what does a guy want more? I think it depends on the circumstance. For instance, if you met this girl maybe at like random and you don't know the person, I think a blowjob's safer. And sometimes, you know, you can get real in inventive and mean with it. You can catch it. STDs and stuff. Yeah, like but the, the STDs you'd catch are, you know, a little bit safer than the STDs you'd catch from. Like treatable with a the, with the, the gene. The yeah. gene. So a new girl should just try to go down. Yeah. This is um, Katie's question as well. Okay. But I have this problem too. What kind of music do you prefer in the background while you're doing the deed? You know, put on whatever. Like, uh, I like to listen to the Melvins, so I'll listen to the Melvins. You know, just ah, like that is kind that of, and then you're just like, ah, that, uh, you know. <laughs> so you pound fuck. No. <laughs> I what? Jack no, Rabbit you want to see pound fuck? Yeah. 
Do you? A little bit. That. That's like. It's like disgusting. What? You asked. You're hot. It's entertaining. I think we're on the purple pony show. How long have you been a virgin? Uh, I was a virgin. Uh, I'll be. I mean, brutally honest here. <laughs> I think I was a virgin till I was about twenty years old. Twenty, that about twenty. Okay. I grew up in a small town in McMinnville, and the girls there weren't into skateboarders and that kind of scene. They were into like really? rednecks and you know cowboys and trucks, big trucks, and I didn't have any of those. And okay. so, it was hard for me to to get the poon. You know what I mean? So we ended up just skateboarding and, and doing our thing. But then, you know, cool thing around 20, 21, every, everything changed. And, you know, X Games made it easy for guys like me to get some pussy. Can I say pussy? No, yeah. I mean, we're on the internet. I think you can say Vag- that I, God, I, I, I forgot we're live. I'm sorry. I didn't mean I meant vagina. What do you call a girl? Is that what you say? A hoo-hoo. Pussy? A hoo-hoo. As your friend, I should tell you. No, this. it's gnarly. That ladies. It's and gnarly. Girls. Guys but, do not use the P But guys, the when they're not around chicks, girls, ladies, will yeah, say yeah. it all day long. Like, hey, let's get some pussy tonight. You guys want to go out to town and get some pussy? Pussy, pussy, pussy. Like, seriously, pussy. 